Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're getting the uh, we're getting the old show truck cleaned up. Yeah, as you guys know, we got it all done. We hit a couple of truck shows, and it really doesn't look that dirty. But we don't have any kind of uh, like good coat of wax or uh, outside coating on it yet. No, actually, well, I waxed it before we went to Mitchell's show, but it not was a good coat. Not a, not a good coat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not a detail guy. This is why we've hired some professionals to come in, and I'm super excited about it. You know why? Why is that? Because the truck's gonna clean off a million times faster than it ever has before. Because yeah. we're doing a ceramic coat on this thing after it's getting completely like buffed and polished and whatnot. Exactly. We got some of the best in the business putting a ceramic coat on this truck today, and whenever that gets done, we'll take this thing to truck shows. We'll be able to spray it off. It's going to clean up so much nicer. Yes. And we're going to kind of explain to you guys a lot of stuff in this video, like uh, paint corrections. So a lot of people hear about this in the car world, and it's in the semi world, just with anything. Uh, we'll put a, a pretty bright light up in the paint and really look at it real close. Be a, we're going to find out that there's probably some little scratches and stuff in there, and they're going to basically buff this truck and polish it so it looks perfect. All right. Well, sounds like uh, sounds like we've got a whole video planned out. Let's do this. All right. Let's flip the camera around and start uh, showing the things. You want to show the things? Yeah. I think it, yeah, that's a good idea. Do you now? Yeah, right now. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it right now. All right, so this is a truck from the show when we came back from Mitchell's show. Um, I never even watched it, so which is kind of bad, but we got busy and I haven't done it, but you still see there's some bugs and stuff on it. Um, but overall, you stand 10 foot away and the truck looks clean. It looks great, but there is little, there is little imperfections that are in the paint, just even from the factory. And um, we'll try to show them. This paint is really hard to do it, but you can kind of even see where I'm going through here. You can see some of these little marks in the paint right there. You can kind of see those little lines. Um, what he's gonna be doing is basically getting those out and it's, it's terribly hard to get the camera to show it, but you can see that little spot right there. There's just, there's some of those in different places in the paint that need to, uh, basically, I guess he kind of hits them with a buffer and uh, polishes the stuff out. And I'm not a detail guy, so I don't really know, but we're gonna watch and see how he does it. And then he's gonna ceramic coat this entire truck. Um, the water sheds off of it, no dirt really sticks to it. It'll make taking this truck to shows, cleaning them up a hundred times better and the paint will look even flatter. Um, Brian from Detailed, all the way from Texas? Dallas, Texas. Yes. Dallas, Texas. And you've been doing a bunch of big rigs lately. Uh, I got, all over the internet, I've been seeing you doing a bunch of big rigs. Yeah, after Matt's, we did Don Woods and he did Festa Show and then everyone was like, yep, we need that, so. And he just kinda got busy from there. Yeah, and like, Don's truck's awesome. Yeah. That's Don's such a nice good. truck. It's simple and like, clean. Yep. Not overdone. But. Still one of my favorite trucks. Don's, Don's is a cool ride. Um, talk to me a little bit about what we're doing here. Because, I mean, like we were talking earlier, I mean, the truck, the truck's like, it's not like it's in bad shape or anything. It's brand new, but. Oh, yeah. uh, you guys can definitely paint. Um, no, we're going to go through and uh, basically remove any imperfections. Um, wool cut and then uh, uh, soft pad cut the rest of the, tr the truck. Make sure that it's perfectly optically clear yeah. before we seal it in. Um, the ceramic coating is a glass coating, so anything you put that over is sealed in for years versus, mm -hmm. you know, waxing it. So we like to make sure it's optically perfect. Um, and, when, and when you talk about optically, it's like, if you've ever seen a car, like the quickest way to like wreck a paint job and a polish, like go wash it with some Dawn dishwashing soap or something, and it cuts everything that was on the paint off. Or a brush. Or a brush. Yeah, that's, that's my biggest struggle right now with the uh, big rig show scene is uh, throwing away brushes at every shop we go to. Yep. Um, they do make microfiber mitts on uh, on poles, just like the brushes. Um, and everything we wash here, everything's done on microfiber yeah. mitts, um, and they're all we all, all our trucks. We hand wash them, um, and kind of uh, you know different level. But in the commercial industry side of things, you're going through, you're getting washed at a blue yeah. beacon or whatever else. They wash them with they wash them with uh, with brushes, and they use uh, harsher chemicals, and they're cleaning them. Yeah. And over time, they start to look kind of rough. Yeah, but with the ceramic coatings, even if you go through blue beacons. Um, You'll notice you'll have to do less of the hand washing. A lot of it will rinse right off. Mm -hmm. um, and with the ceramic coating, you're chemically resistant to a lot of those acid washes they're using. Okay. So if they do use a high alkaline, like a pH positive soap that's stripping something like a touchless wash, it's not going to strip a wax or something that you have on the truck off. It's going to just clean the coating out. Right. So um, 
uh, the biggest reason for us wanting to do this is a there's like and i'm I, we're, we're we're overly picky maybe but there's a few little spots in the truck here and there and some really light scratches that are in it that uh, most people will never even really notice but the biggest thing for me is i like to be able to get to a show get the truck cleaned up as quickly and efficient as efficiently as possible we literally just washed big daddy um in less than 30 minutes top to bottom end dry yeah, that's wild. You can't, I can't, I can't do this truck that fast. No, Jacob just put 4,600 miles on his truck. Yeah. Uh, on a hater made. And he's like, it's the first time I've ever went a week without washing my truck. And he goes, it's still clean. It's still clean. Yeah. Minus the deer. But. Minus. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are following videos or anything else, Jacob Hater made, uh, they did his whole truck and it looks amazing after it was done. And uh, uh, obviously it stays cleaner, but it cleans up faster. But unfortunately, he had a deer, and uh, I don't guess the ceramic coatings, you know, prevent deer dings. Well, it looks like he just took the, uh, got the bumper, but. It wasn't bad. Uh, but he did say that in this text message, he said, you know, ceramic coating is so slick that deer slid right off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. We'll be putting it on the, uh, on the fenders and the frame and all that stuff. You can kind of see here, there's wax on this truck, and the water kind of beads up and it just sits there. Um, but after after you're done, it'll be even better than be the way it's doing now. It'll slide right off. You'll be able, basically you'll be able to air dry your entire truck with a leaf blower. That's awesome. Like completely. That's the biggest reason for me wanting to do this. I just you know we get to shows and things like that, and if we can make oh, this job be. quicker and easier, then. Oh, trust me, we know that trying to it's for the clients we have in the automotive world, we know that they don't want to wash their own cars, and you know cars are a quarter the size of these, so we understand that washing one of these by yourself isn't on the list of fun things to do. Yep. So this ceramic coating makes it a hundred times easier. Now, you think you would show a difference if we did like, if we were to like, if you were just like buff an area and then be able to hold the camera back and see it, you think we'll be able to tell a difference that way? Like a, a decent one? I mean, I know this paint's not like terrible, but it's gonna be slicker, right? Oh, it's gonna be, yeah. I mean, if you want to get real crazy, we could just tape off a square, coat it, spray water on it, and they'll know that difference i'm down that'd be a cool that'd be a yeah. cool way to show people the difference between ceramic yeah, coat just cut that part of the coating back off and then redo everything yeah. let's do that because yeah. we can legitimately i like this because now now everybody's watching the video can 100 percent see it's not like yeah. uh, it's we, not like a we'll, snake we'll oil thing out, right we'll wash it and we'll strip this wax off that you have on there yep and then we'll come in we'll tape off a square we'll coat it okay cut it cure for like a couple minutes and then we'll hit it with water yep and you'll be able to tell completely where the coating is is not all right, cool. All right, so we're going to go outside. We're going to wash the truck. We're going to strip all the wax off. I spent two days waxing this truck, and he's going to, like, take it all off in an hour. Makes you feel Dave great. We spent 48 hours on Jacob's truck, and he hit a deer. So, that's it. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna undo all my, my work, my handiwork here, and then start over. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you how this stuff really works. All right. Like those little, you know those little memes where it's, like, 15 minutes later, and then it's, like, you know, it's changed. That's what just happened. So, all right, y'all got the truck washed up. Um, I'm gonna see if this camera will show it. You can see, yes, you can see the line. See a line right here? There's a little square. You can see it right there and it comes over and then you can see the line. Eh, hang on, fine. It's so hard to do a paint. The other line's right here. But this area right here is coated and I'm feeling it. And you can tell there's a, it's slicker here than it is here. And this isn't buffed or anything. No polishing, right? It's no, just we just uh, wanted to do this so you can see the difference between what paint would be with nothing on it or wax, and then so we stripped everything. This spot is coated. It'll show you exactly how easy it'll be to take care of that spot versus everything else. Everything else, and even it's going to be even better too once you guys get done because you're gonna you're gonna buff the whole yeah. truck, so yeah. it's even going to be a better surface then. So this is now we're gonna we're gonna fire the the deal up here, yep. spray some water on it, and show you how it's gonna beat off this little square right here versus the rest of the hood. See, the water is like flat, still sitting all over the paint right here, and it's beating up and, and coming off pretty fast. If you were driving down the road and it was it was wet, this water is going to shoot off. It's going to shoot off and pretty much wash itself again. Yeah. Essentially, as you can tell, the water is super flat here. Yeah.
That's pretty awesome. And now you can really see the line with the water on it. And it blew, I mean, like, man, this would be so great when this whole truck's done. I'll be able to clean this thing in like 10 minutes. Yep. Yeah. That's super cool. All right. Well, I'm sold. So how much to do the rest of the truck? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to pull the truck in. We're going to set the time lapse up and uh, they're going to go to town on this thing. All right, truck is done. You guys worked like all night. All night. Yeah. And here we are, it's still night. Yeah. It's my life. <laughs> it's a night working deal. This truck looks, I know you guys can tell it. I mean, the camera doesn't do this thing as no, enough justice inside right now, but the black in the truck is just deeper. And it looks wet. It's awesome. It looks, I mean. Well, we can make it wet. The, <laughs> we just cleaned it. It's uh, the thing's so slick. It's it's awesome. Like yeah. you can you can literally tell that the coating's on it. Yeah, like you can feel that. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get guys that are literally like, yeah, I just reach out the window and I kind of like touch my truck. <laughs> and you guys done? You saw the time lapse. In the time lapse, it kind of like it looks like you guys are just running all over the place. And it's you know like time lapses we usually do on our videos is putting a truck together. So you see like this big transformation like stacks going on and tanks going on and all this but then you kind of just if you pay attention to it it just gets shinier yeah um and it's like just people buzzing around everywhere but they got the frame everything um this thing was slick just from the paint job but like this thing's super slick now it's awesome what are you doing with the cup by the way i just figured i'll show you how slick it was with the, we're gonna throw the cup at it and be like, look, the cup won't even stick well, to the paint. Maybe not the whole cup. But what's in the cup? Yeah. What's in the cup? Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Dang. I mean, there's nothing, there's no water sitting on top of it. So I could almost just about, if it got rained on, I could kind of just leave it to do its thing. It's not yeah. gonna spot up or nothing. No, I mean, um, yeah. And if you were to wash it with your filtered water that you guys have here, yeah. you could literally walk away from it and just be done with it. But drying it off. Yeah, and like compared to like the stack, so these have been, I, I chrome polished these up pretty good uh, not too long ago. Like how well is it, does that work? It, it comes off the paint better than it does the stack. And it works. I mean, the water, the water beads off the paint better than it does the chrome. Yeah. I mean, it, it runs off of it faster. It, but yeah. The reflections in the paint now are well, that's next. So you guys just hang tight because we're fixing to pull this thing outside. Um, and the uh, sun's going to be glorious to the, tomorrow mm -hmm. because it was overcast today and we couldn't really do anything with yeah. it. But tomorrow the sun's going to be out. And we're going to take this thing outside and you really get to see what, it, what it's made it's of like here. Penny. It's what? It looks like a penny. Like, it's got so much flake in it. All night last night we were polishing, I legitimately thought the tanks were covered in dust. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. It looks, it looks, you guys done a killer job. Thanks,
I'm really happy I made it down here to do it for sure. I know now that I go to the show next time, I can clean this truck like in no time. All right, cool. Well, next step, we'll pull this thing outside when the sun comes up and, uh, and really get to see it. Here it is out in the freaking sun and this thing it's so amazing it looks so good tommy's excited <laughs> <laughs> it, it's slightly glossier, I guess. it is it is it is glossier the the color is even like a it's a deeper black uh, if you get up close to it I don't even know how to explain it, but it, it just seems like the even the flake in the paint is more pronounced now. It's like it multiplied, honestly. It was, yeah, the, the, the truck has quite a bit of metal flake in it, but uh, this is legendary, right? Yeah. So it's, it's not really metal flake. It's got the glass beads in it. But for whatever reason, this coating, it really, really, really multiplied it. And it's like to the touch, this thing's slick. It's, I, I don't know. It's awesome. It looks really good. If you look down the side, just how the reflection on this thing is amazing. And so this is a four-year coating, which is, uh, I guess they go in different hardness, hardnesses, hardnesses. hardnesses. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I sell them. hardnesses. <laughs> hardnesses. <laughs> no, the, the, the year, the, the year marks are just the. The amount of uh, resin, uh, the solids in the resin. Right. So, um, but like I was telling you, this is going to get glossier over the next four days as it actually truly cures all the way out. Right now, it's cured to the touch, but in the next four to four days, it's going to be super, actually cured to the hard glass. Right. So you'll get more gloss and depth out of that paint. Yeah, and we'll, we're going to keep it inside where she stays warm. Yep, away from every brush you've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> yep. And uh, I cannot wait to see it look better than it looks now. It's, yeah. it's almost hard to believe though. No, that I it's mean it's gonna look better than it currently does. It's as as the as the coat uh, cures out. I mean, the truck looked awesome before. Mark all the guys at the paint shop; they do a, an amazing job at what they do on the paint side of things. But then having Brian come down here and polish this truck or the paint on it, right? Yeah. Is that the right way to say it? Should I say you polish the paint, you buff the paint? Like what, what's the what's the term? Uh, terminology now is paint correction but you know the beginning the, the term before was buffing yeah um, just depends to me buffing is like what they're doing at the body shop and they're going through and cool cutting all the, the sanding and stuff right like, yeah. like going through and like fine tuning moving micro marring any swirl stuff like that that's going to be more of the paint correction okay they're getting a little more fine tuned yep and it looks Looks really, really good. My favorite part is this thing's gonna clean up super easy now. Yep. Yeah. So if we get an opportunity to take it to another truck show, I'm thinking, I'm thinking now that it looks so slick, someone's definitely gonna want to buy this truck. But yeah, if we get the opportunity to take it to another truck show, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean when we get there. It will. I mean, you guys should leave with us in about 30 minutes to polish the left. Here. Trust me, we've 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 discussed this. If we weren't so had so much going on in the shop and just had the luxury to go do what we want. I just tell you all down there. <laughs> but guys, yeah, it's uh, I'm really glad that we got the opportunity to get Brian up here to do this because it looks freaking awesome. It really does. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys are wondering about uh, ceramic coatings and things like that or paint correction type stuff, uh, I highly recommend it because. The end result is night and day difference. This truck looked great when we got done with it. 
and now it looks even better. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm excited. I do want to take it to another truck show soon. So maybe, maybe we can get one more truck show in before the end of the year. Um, take this thing and show it off before someone buys it. But it is for sale. We do have a new truck here that we're starting on. So uh, I don't know. If someone wants a really nice truck, give us a call because uh, you can take this baby home. All right, guys, that's it for the video. We got a big shiny Peter built now. Mm -hmm. Real shiny, and I like it. It's going to be a whole lot easier to clean, too. It is, and it looks awesome. So uh, if you guys are ever thinking about or didn't understand ceramic coating and like paint correction type stuff and like what it does, I'm hoping this video at least gave you – it's hard – to really show it for what it is with a camera. I don't know, you just can't, but it is awesome. And it is worth the, the money we spent uh, to have Brian come down here and do this. Um, if you were ever interested in wanting to do me? this. You guys are paying me? Do you want money? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. I was gonna give you some money. Oh, yes. I, I mean, I wasn't only gonna give you pizza. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I worked for, you know, Sour Patch Kids and stuff like that too, so. Oh. oh well. We're going to go to the gas station after this <laughs> yeah, video, and I'm going to pick up some... I Sour Patch. <laughs> yeah, best, best purchase I ever made. <laughs> but, no, seriously, if you guys want to follow along, like, uh, you've got the social medias and stuff, and, yep. like, you don't do just semis. Like, your main business is, like, supercars, and so your, your TikTok and Instagram and all those things are just Full lots of, of good eye candy. Yep. So where do they find you? Uh, it's going to be a TikTok. It's going to be underscore detailed underscore and uh same with uh instagram as well or you can find us on facebook i'm also gonna put it down there in the description so you can go in there find it and follow this guy uh you guys are super talented and uh i'm glad we ran into you in texas because yeah stop trying to hide <laughs> he, he he doesn't want to be in the video he keeps kind of like <laughs> just kind of sneaking out, <laughs> just kinda dips out like, i'm gonna stand here but i don't really want to do this yeah but uh, that's it for the video. Uh, you got to do the things. Yeah, you guys know what to do. You have to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And then we'll see you next time. Later.